Hi all, I have another entertaining game from David Grosvenor. Leela ID 11131 against the Ethereal 10.88. So this game is a fast and furious 40 moves per 2 minutes plus 2 second increment per move. So let's see, E4, E6, we have a French defense. This is the opening book given, and in particular the Winawa variation. So A3, Bishop takes C3, this is the end of the book. B takes Knight E7. And now Lila plays slightly unusual A4. Black reacts with castling. So is this a mistake or not? Usually knight b6 b c to c6 is played, for example, like this. And black's a bit cagey about castling. And um, the white bishop often goes there and then it's it seems pretty peaceful. But here is castling a mistake. We see bishop d3. Queen a5, bishop d2, and now c4. So what could possibly be bad about this move c4 here? Isn't it just pushing the bishop back? What would you play <laughs> if I give you five seconds to pause the video? White to play. Okay. Bang. Bishop takes h7 check. It's... An incredible version of of a Greek gift here, because usually the knight's ready to pounce with this sort of thing. The knight coming to g5 quite quickly. Is that the case here? Check. The knight comes to f3 uh, now for knight g5 to be threatened. Doesn't this give black enough time to defend though? F6 is played. Isn't this just unsound? E takes, and now we see part of the horror of the position for black. Uh, on rook takes f6, there's actually queen e8 infiltrating, winning the knight with a big advantage. So black really has the only option is g takes. Now we see h4, which reveals rook h3 as a possibility, possibility, very dangerous. As well as knight g5, the more invisible threat is knight g5. Uh, so trying to use that fishing pole mechanism to activate the rook here. Rook f7. And now we see knight g5 anyway. If rook g7, then there's queen e8. Ouch. So this now activates the rook as well as the queen. And we've got a dangerous pawn. How dangerous is this? Is black just busted here? King f8 trying to make a run for it. g6. This pawn is also an attacking piece here. Rook g7 is played. There aren't too many uh, interesting possibilities here. We see now Queen F3 check, King E8, and now a real crushing blow, Rook H7. It seems black is pretty helpless here already. Uh, black chose Knight BC6. On Rook takes, then there's a scooping operation check, winning a, a piece back. And now there's a really incisive blow here, bishop f4, which is fantastic and winning. For example, uh, if king b6, uh, then bishop c7 wins the queen. And you might think, well, hold on a sec, isn't just c3 on winning the rook? If takes here, then king f1, brilliant rook sack, putting the king on the light square, avoiding any issue with king e2 queen takes c2 and now putting the queen in siberia basically king e2 there's no more checks here that easily white is threatening to checkmate black if the king makes a run for it here then check on b4 and then queen b5 checkmate so this position looks hopeless actually yeah if if rook g6 is ruled out also this is ruled out because if taking here Knight g6, there's just queen h5 pinning that knight, and this pawn is going to queen. For example, check and then queening. So that's pretty hopeless as well. So, yeah, after rook h7, it seems black's not really in a position uh, to easily defend. Knight bc6 is played. Rook takes g7. The king tries to make a run for it. King f1, which basically frees up the bishop now without, well, the c3 is protected anyway but there's also i guess knight takes d4 anyway the king's safer on f1 queen d8 rook e1 king c7 
Bishop g5 putting the pressure on e7 now. King b6. More and more pressure on e7. That pen is pretty nasty. This dark square bishop without a counterpart is, is pretty lethal. Bishop d7 and the game actually ended here. Short and sweet. Just 24 moves. After all, blown off the board just by casting too early. The game could continue. Uh, so it was adjudicated as a win for white. It could continue. Bishop takes this position. The exchange up because of this advanced pawn is pretty hopeless. For example, like this. Here's a, a fictional continuation. Uh, so like this, and basically it's just it's just going to be easy. It's white's got a big advantage here. It's an easy conversion after that. The exchange up. Let's go back to the final position. So this game showed actually that it's pretty dangerous for black to cancel too early and allow bishop takes h7. There's a welcoming committee which is ready actually to spring into action. It looks as though they're not, but in fact they are. Uh, so as shown in this game, I hope you got something from it. When you play against the French defense, maybe you can pounce like this with bishop takes h7 as well in a similar situation. But make sure your Greek gifts are uh, working in the situation you have, the exact position you have. Okay, comments, questions, likes, shares appreciated. Thanks very much.